What's good everybody, this is Cool Simon Sky, and welcome to System Test 11 with the ESL 1500 series. Let's get straight into the video. The last video I made, which was the New Year's Sound Off, represented all of my loudest alarms in my fire alarm collection. However, I did swap them all out, so, they're, so therefore the system isn't going to be nearly as loud as when we're celebrating the New Year. And I'll show you what I have up on my system. The pull stations are still the same other than the one in my room and you guys will be seeing what I have in my room in a moment. In here in the spare room we have the Wheelock RSS 24 MCW FW remote strobe which is set to 15 candela. And it is the first time I'm using a remote strobe in the spare room. Uh, if you guys can, if the camera can focus, there we go. It is set to 15 candela. Here's my ESL smoke detector as usual. And yes, those are my LED strip lights that are changing colors. And I have my party laser lights turned on. And you can tell it's changing color patterns from green, blue, and red. I got this for like $50 for those who are curious. I got it off on Amazon. In my room, I have my Notifier mbg 12 l pull station. You guys have seen this a few times in a few of system tests. And we will be pulling it today. Above it, we have my Pyrotronics Vibrating Chime. Or Vibrating Chime, I don't know if I said that correctly. <laughs> and that's the model number. You guys can kind of see it. Here's my dual light, emergency light. And for the strobe, we have a System Sensor SW. I took out the P2RK and just swapped it out with the SW. Let's go ahead and turn that off. We have the same ESL smoke, and we still have the ESL pull station. In here in the workshop, we have a System Sensor P4WL horn strobe. This is indeed a four wire L series. It is the second gen with the newer-ish, if that's a word, mounting bracket on it, and it was manufactured in 2017. And it's also set to 15 candela. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here we, you guys can, well, sort of, a little bit. And below it, we still have the same ESL pull station, which we'll be pulling today. We still have the ESL smoke detector, and we have something special I put up on my system. This is my Simplex 405080, and you guys can probably tell it kind of looks different, doesn't it? I'm going to probably get a few hate comments about it, but I actually caught the top part of the 405080, and there is a reason behind it to why I did that. So what I have in front of me is my Simplex 405080 light plate that came out of my school, and so did that one too. But anyway, the reason I cut the top part of that 40 50 80 right there is because these metal tabs that are used to hold the horns actually broke off this it was like that when i first salvaged it for my school it was i realized that it was missing one of these that hold the horn and i'll just like it's probably it's probably not gonna hold the horn well so i just 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 cut the top part of this light plate off of this so this, so I basically converted it into a remote light. However, I did convert it into a strobe. There is actually a Wheelock LED strobe, and this is why I have this out. This is a Wheelock LSTR-NA, which this particular one I got from Jack Williamson. However, it does not work. The strobe has problems flashing, so I might fix it sometime in the future, but we'll see. But, um... Yeah, that's part of the reason why I kind of cut out the top part of that light play right there. Just for just so you guys are aware, and hopefully you guys still think I'm like, oh, why did you get the top part of a really rare device? Are you insane? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what I did. And I know it's only being held by one screw, but hey, it's still being held up here, so it is what it is. And we turn on the light in the laundry room. I have my Wheelock RSS 24 MCC ceiling mount remote strobe, which is also set to 15 candela. There we go. And we still have the usual system sensor heat. And we still have the same ESL pull station. Uh, if I mean, if I got 
be closer to it. Yep, same pole station from last test. Uh, right behind the wire heater. So, yep. That's all the initiating devices and all the alarms are up on my system. Let's go up to the panel. Now for the alarms I chose for the workshop, I originally had a Wheelock EHS horn strobe, the one that looks very weathered. It did not sound right, as in like, it was just, it sounded really sickly, so I just replaced it with an L-series. <laughs> Something pretty realistic that had to be done, they would usually replace an older device with a newer device, such as these bad boys right here. And also, I think I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention this, but this alarm is set to low volume code three, and it's actually kind of quiet too, quieter than the Spectrally Advanced, to be to be fair. <laughs> so um, I'll be right back. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the Notifier MBG12L, and. Before I pull it, if you suffer from epilepsy due to flashing strobe lights, please do not watch and also do not pull public fire alarms unless there's a real emergency. And fun fact, and also, if you read the top of this, there's a local alarm not connected to fire department. By the way, my system isn't connected to fire department by all means, so if I want the fire department to come here, I have to call 911. Just something I wanted to say, so. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and pull it in three, two, one. We have the Wheelock RSS remote strobe here. Panel is pretty loud. Oh, I just knocked something over. I'm gonna shut the light off in here. Just to see the strobe action. I had the wrong key, that's why. So there is zone two. And um, I'm actually just gonna activate zone one. Just for fun. Okay. I'm actually gonna shut off the sound. I'm gonna go on the sound panel. <laughs> And um, I guess we'll activate the pull station in here. There we go, and I guess we might as well activate the old pole stations, just for the heck of it. However, I'm actually going to put the system on lock test just so that the alarms don't keep going off, because I don't want my neighbors to be all concerned, so I'm going to put zone 3 and zone 5 on lock test. So, I'm going to just pull it. Okay, and um, I'm gonna go over here, and it's pretty clear over here, so that's good. And yeah, I know it's pretty loose. I know the back box is pretty loose.
pretty buggy. Pretty buggy zone. And uh, I guess I have to go around. However, as I'm going to go around, I'm just going to go ahead and reset all the pull stations. Oops. But uh, I can just do this. There we go. <clears throat> And there is no audible silence, being that only the strobes are flashing. There we go. There's the, there's the notifier MPG-12L that's still active. There's the model number right there, notifier MPG-12L. This pull station here was actually manufactured in 2008. So, um... You see how Zone 5 is really buggy? There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and reset the system. And if you notice, Zone 2 isn't in trouble anymore. whoop de doo <laughs> I replaced the resistor that was behind this uh, pull station spot right here. So, therefore, I'm no longer having Zone 2 troubles. So, that was the only issue. It wasn't a pull station issue. It was a resistor issue. But, the resistor issue is all solved. So, thumbs up for me. That'll be it for System Test 11. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and also subscribe to, for more YouTube content. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.